Penguin Beyond 4 has multiple types of exports to send files and laser cues to the FB4. We're going to take a look at each one of these. First, we need to open up the FB4 export menu. And from the list, we can see different types, such as exporting test patterns, exporting DMX triggered cues, exporting individual cues to be played back on the unit itself by selecting the cues, or by an autoplay list, or to trigger cues with a schedule. Additionally, we also have the ability to manually upload cue types. First thing we're going to demonstrate is exporting test files to the laser projector. From the export menu, go ahead and select test patterns standard. What this will do is export the standard test patterns from Pangolin Beyond into the FB4. The next screen will go ahead and show you a list of all of the test patterns that are available. As we can see by scrolling, we have all of our standard alignment, ILDA test patterns, and color test patterns that will be exported. When we click on the export button, we will get an, a notification dialog that prompts us that we need to save this export project. If you hit the OK button, then you can name the quote unquote job or project that we're exporting for later reuse. Then we're going to go through the standard export dialog. The first option allows us to apply any sort of color, sizing, or geometric correction to the export job. We don't want to do this as this is standard test pattern, so we're going to say do not apply. Next, we need to specify whether this is content that needs to be displayed on a specific zone or whether this is generic content that can be displayed on any projector. The next dialog allows us to export out to a file that can be manually uploaded to the FB4 at a later date or export directly to the FB4. If we export to the FB4, it will automatically create a file that we can use at a later date. Any animation files that need to be exported for, uh, to the FB4 can be saved to a temporary directory. We will specify that directory and we can reference this later if we need to. Once we click complete, the files will upload. To verify that the files were correctly uploaded, we're going to go ahead and click on the FB4 browser button from the export dialog. Here we have a file browser that can see all the files that are on the FB4. If we click on the content folder and click on the test folder, which is where the test patterns are uploaded to, we can see the 13 test patterns that were uploaded from Pangolin Beyond 4 into the FB4. To see the files that were uploaded in the FB4, we're going to go up to File and look at the File Viewer. A new dialog window opens up that will show us what the graphics look like. So let's go ahead and click on the Open Folder icon, then go into my FB4 folder, click on the Export folder, and look through the different files. If I click on any one of these, it will open in the file viewer. Now, if this were an animation, I could click on play, fast forward, rewind, or have any of the standard controls for animations. We saw in the previous section that you can save a export project for later use. So let's take a look at exporting one of those projects. Go to the file menu and choose FB4 export. Then choose Open Existing. Select the file name that you use during the test export. Once open, we can see the animations, files that were used during the export. Choose Export and it will open the export dialog for us to follow along with. Go through the dialog just like we did during the test files section of this tutorial.
With the test frames now on the FB4, we can test them from Pangolin Beyond. First, go to the File and FB4 Settings menu. From the Settings menu, go ahead and click on the Test Mode button. Click on the Enable Test Mode Output checkbox. Be careful when you do, as if the laser is already turned on and all the safeties are enabled, output will commence of the laser. You should see the first test pattern that was uploaded. We can start to cycle through the different test patterns using the, the scroll bar or the up-down click buttons.